So EPIC benefits both students and communities through a variety of ways. And the community benefits because they actually receive the projects um, from the students. And they also have an opportunity to become more aware of what engineering is about. Uh, on the student side, it provides an opportunity for them to engage in a real design for real context. It also equips students with what we call the, the broader professional skills, teamwork, leadership, communication, that are, are really key in, in today's global marketplace. It really provides the unique opportunity for us to get out of the lab. It's very easy to get stuck in the lab, think theory, but EPICS forces us to look beyond just the problem on the paper and actually go out, impact the community. And that's for a few different reasons. One is I think as a land-grant institution, it's really critical that we have impact within our local community that we're serving. Indiana more broadly for people in the community to see exactly what engineers can do uh, and to be able to make the connection that you know this is what engineering is all about. We have continued to grow the program here at Purdue. We've become more multidisciplinary. We've been integrated in as an academic program. We've got new facilities as we're part of the College of Engineering Leadership Track, the university's entrepreneurship certificate. Our courses count as an option for some of the core curriculum requirements for the science, technology, and society. The thing that EPICS does that is really nice is it, it provides uh, an experience for the students that is real world. It's exactly the kind of problems that they're going to face when they get out there. We're not just giving you a goal that kind of fits within the scope of our class. The goal is it has to work for this child or for this person and make them not only fit the narrow criterion that you're used to from your classes, but make them work for everybody. Knowing that it's actually going to an end customer makes a difference. I think that's why, you know, the second week of class, we try to get them out into the corporation that we're, you know, helping out. Because that is what opens up your eyes as far as, you know, who is this actually going for as opposed to, I'm turning this in, it's going to go into a box, I'm going to get a grade on it, I'm done, moving on to the next thing. One of the advantages of being involved in ethics teams is to uh, for, the, for the students in particular is to distinguish and differentiate between what the client wants, what the client needs, and what the client thinks he or she wants or needs. EPICS has had a really, I think, large impact on um, providing access and abilities. We partner with Bradford Woods, which is a recreational facility that hosts a variety of camps. Included is the Camp Riley Camp, and that camp really just wants to provide uh, a camp experience for children with disabilities. So the mission really is to be able to provide that camp experience in an accessible way. Champ Camp is also a camp, but those are campers have uh, tracheotomies and rely on ventilator support. But we're adapting the sailboat so that campers uh, can either use a joystick or a sip and puff switch to be able to control the rudder. We've had teams that have designed um, educational activities for kids to be able to learn as preschoolers. Uh, one of our uh, most successful projects is the Speak All app. This is an app that allows people with severe autism to be able to communicate. Epics has partnered with Habitat for Humanity probably since the inception of uh, EPICS. The, the focus for the past year and a half has been on community revitalization in the Lafayette area. The Habitat for Humanity team in EPICS has also worked uh, on a um, project with Habitat's affiliate in Haiti. I think the impact that Habitat for Humanity has had on the EPICS team has been uh, quite significant. Students are able to see immediately the impact that they can have with their technical skills. And that draws in students from all different backgrounds to be able to see you know, how you can use your knowledge, how you can use the things that you're learning in the classroom to be able to help someone almost immediately is very important. And so I see that uh, in the programs that we do from a very early age, uh, in the sixth grade all the way up through college and graduate school. There is a huge amount of diversity in the EPICS learning community. We are actually about 50% women, and as a female in engineering, that was awesome. You keep on having females coming back to engineering projects and community service. Is it's, it is motivational. It can be sometimes discouraging being the minority in such a male-dominated field, but to be in the lab and knowing that you're going to make a difference and you're going to step out into the community and just actually see your work and you can take it from start to finish. 
how we can equip teachers on a national level or even a global level of introducing students to engineering by addressing needs in the community.